Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a speed test and look at the gaming performance of the 2013 MacBook Air 11 inch. It's outfitted with a dual core Core i7 4650U, 8GB of RAM, and a 128GB SSD, where the 2012 model has the same specs but with the last generation Core i5. To start, we'll be doing a boot test to see how fast the new Air powers up. It's always been quick to boot, but thanks to a much faster PCIe based SSD, the MacBook Air only needs 11.5 seconds to fire up, which is about 2 seconds faster than the last generation. Waking from sleep is also faster now. With the newer Air on the right and the 2012 model on the left, there's practically no delay between opening the lid and being ready to go. To get a better idea of exactly how fast the drive is, I'll be using Blackmagic Speed Test. For write speeds, the 2012 Air averaged around 220 megabytes per second, where the 2013 model pulled around 315 megs per second. Read speeds are even more impressive, with the older model topping out around 420 megs per second, with the new Air pulling in over 700 megabytes per second, making it one of the fastest SSDs I've ever tested, period. Since I do a lot of video production, I loaded up a copy of Adobe Premiere CC on the new MacBook Air. With 8GB of RAM and a snappy SSD, editing videos runs quite smoothly, and with a 1 minute 1080p H.264 export, the Air needed 4 minutes and 11 seconds. Not really very fast, but roughly on par with the last generation i7 model. As far as the graphics and gaming performance go, let's start with Cinebench. Both laptops are running integrated Intel graphics. The 2012 model has HD 4000, where the 2013 model has HD 5000 graphics. While there isn't a massive difference in performance in the benchmark, the newer model pulls in a score of 24.9 frames per second, where the older version comes in at 19.7. For a demo of real world gaming, I loaded up a copy of Minecraft and turned the settings all the way up at the full screen resolution of 1366 by 768 It's perfectly playable even while flying around in creative mode, delivering anywhere between 25 and 40 frames per second. In normal gameplay, I had no problems with the air, except that it does get fairly warm while playing, but never enough to be a real issue. The 2013 MacBook Air is a definite improvement with a much faster SSD, significantly improved graphics, and roughly the same CPU horsepower while delivering a huge battery life improvement. What do you think of the MacBook Air? It's a nearly perfect laptop for me, but definitely be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're interested in the full review of the 2013 MacBook Air, check it out here, and if you enjoy, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to catch more videos like this. Anyway guys, I will catch you next time.